Hello everyone and welcome to a new rapid application note video about Indesoft Web Studio and Aviva Edge. Uh, and this opportunity I will talk about uh, how you can create uh, uh, several symbols uh, and populate them internally with a class uh, with a class member. So you can have a class, a different class for each symbol, but uh, by just specifying the class name you will have the symbol internally populated with all the symbols, symbol members. So to start, as always, we will create a new project and I will call it um, symbol demo. demo. Um, local interface. Okay, display resolution, that's correct. Security system, probably. Uh, we don't need it for now, since this is a demonstration video. Okay, so the first thing that uh, we need to get this working is a uh, class tag. So let's create a class. Insert the class. The class name will be my class. The class members, let's say that we have a motor. So what do we have in the motor is a speed, for instance, a status, uh, uh, operation, um, let's say temperature. Uh, let's say we, that we have uh, four uh, members. So this is a Boolean, operation is a Boolean, temperature is a real, speed is a real. Uh, no, so st sorry, <laughs> speed is an integer. We, should, we cannot be half RPM, you know. Uh, so we have those uh, members for the class. Let's close this. Uh, and let's create a new tag. So the tag will be um, motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. And all these uh, are in my class. I would call it differently. Motor class, for instance, but the name is my class in this case. So we have now four class tags. Um, each of them ha uh, has this member, sorry, uh, this members here and the, for the class. So that's it. And now we will create a graphics, a graphics instance. So let's create a screen and here let's create a symbol. So I will put some rectangles here. So let's here, one, two, three, four rectangles. Uh, yeah, since we have here four members, so each of them will have one member assign assignment. Uh, let's create a symbol from these rectangles. It will be motor, the symbol name. So let's edit the symbol. And let's assign for each of them the class members. So here is the trick. What I will do is create a, a class, uh, sorry, a custom property. Uh, let's call it um, my my motor or oh, motor class name. So it should be, it should start with this and we should finish with this and the name of the class in this case, it should be, um, we ca I can use any of them uh, as reference. So I will use motor one that uh, operation, for instance. Let's close this. Let's copy this. And for the next one, I will use exactly the same custom property, but I will change only the class member. So speed now for the other one, the same, I will use uh, the same um, pro custom property name and I will change just the class member name status. And finally, the 
temperature. So when I save this, check what happens. Screen, my screen name will be main, okay. Check here, I have the screen. If I double click on it, I have the property uh, called uh, motor class name and the motor class name. In this case is motor one. I want, I'm not specifying each member. I just need to specify the class name, the main class name, the tag class name. So I can create this three more times. And I just need to change for this, the class name. So this will be motor two. The other one will be motor three. And the other one will be motor four. And that's it, I have already assigned the class members for all of this real quick. So let's do a quick test. Let's put here a um, motor one uh, that uh, operation, uh, motor two that uh, speed, motor three that uh, status, and motor four that uh, temperature. Okay, so let's start the runtime. Everything is zero currently, so let's change that. One, two, three, four. You can see here we have for motor one, one for motor two, motor two, two for motor three. Oh, this is a boolean, so it's one. <laughs> uh, one for motor three and four for motor four um, for temperature. And, and on this way, we you can easily uh, create more uh, classes, sorry, more symbols, and assign the class directly without need to uh, specify each class member individually. I hope this video is useful for you. If you have any question, any comment, please leave that in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.